Hello, welcome to Math Talk. I'm your host, Brian Heisler. And today, we're going to talk about quadratic equations. What I've written up here is, in red, the standard form of a quadratic equation. It's ax squared plus bx plus c, where a, b, and c are numbers. They can be positive, they can be negative, they can be fractions, decimals, they can be zero, but they're numbers. In blue, you'll see the formula for the solution to a quadratic equation. You take and plug in A, plug in B, plug in C into this, and start simplifying, and you get your answer. So let's try a couple of examples. In the first example, I've written up the standard form and the formula for the solution as a reminder. For the next one we do, I'm not going to do that. So we have 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 equals 0. So we need to figure out what's A, what's B, and what's C, and plug them into our formula to solve. A is the number in front of your x squared term, B is the number in front of your x term, and C is the number all by itself, including this sign. So make sure it's negative because there's a minus sign there. So we're going to plug them in and see what we get. So x equals negative B plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. So b squared minus 4ac. All that over 2a. Once you've written it down, you can start simplifying and try and get your answer. So negative 4 out front plus or minus 4 squared is 16, minus 4 times 2 times negative 6 is going to get you negative 48. So minus negative 48 is like plus 48. All over 2 times 2, which is 4. So continuing to simplify. Negative 4 plus or minus. Make sure that's a plus or minus sign. 16 plus 48 is 64, and the square root of 64 is 8. So we have 8 on top, 4 on the bottom. So what you have now is the plus or minus sign means you have two separate fractions. One of them is plus, one of them is minus. Because in quadratic equations, you're going to get two solutions. So let's split those up to find our two solutions. Negative 4 plus 8 over 4, and x is negative 4 minus 8 over 4. So simplify each of these and you get your, you get your answers. Negative 4 plus 8 is 4, and 4 divided by 4 is 1, so there's 1 of our solutions. Negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12, and negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. So there's our other solutions. So these two numbers are the solutions to this equation. So let's try another one. This time we have x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Remember, figure out what's a, what's b, and what's c. In this case, there's no number in front of our x squared term, but whenever that happens, it's always understood that the number is 1. So keep that in mind when you start plugging into the formula. So x equals negative b, the negative of negative 6 is positive 6. b squared yeah, minus 4ac. All over 2 times a. and then start simplifying. So 6, negative 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times 1 times 5 is 20. And 2 in the bottom. So again, continue to simplify and you'll get your two solutions. 36 minus 20 is 16, and the square root of 16 is 4. So, x 
Again, what we have is plus or minus, so split them up into two fractions. Plus 4 and minus 4. And then simplify, you get your answer. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. 6 minus 4 is 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So these are your two solutions to this quadratic equation. So I hope that helps when you're trying to solve quadratic equations. Remember, figure out what's A, what's B, and what's C. Plug them into your formula and start simplifying. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.